Most of us have marketing automations, drip email campaigns, and all kinds of things to stay in touch with our prospects. But the real question I have for you today is how many times should you follow up? Come on, let's go talk. In today's age of technology, it is so easy to get lazy. A lot of the time we think that we want our CRM system to do all of the automations and communicate with everybody and follow up on our behalf. But the real question is how many times should you personally follow up with a prospect before throwing your hands up and giving up? The answer to that's really simple, until you get the order. I mean, let's face it, it's not that difficult to plan appointments around a red hot prospect. If somebody is worth your time to do a marketing drop to the very first time, they're still worth your time when you follow them up the second time. Nobody is gonna buy from you just because you walked in the door. I hate to break it to you people, but you don't have a bunch of prospects sitting there waiting with their checkbook in hand saying, hey, David, thank you so much. We've been sitting here waiting to write you a large check to purchase insurance and risk management services from your firm. It just doesn't happen that way. You have to follow up with people methodically and you have to make yourself relevant. Think of your outside sales job as if you were running a route. Some of the best salespeople I've ever encountered in my lifetime are when I was in the grocery industry. And I use the example of the bread guy. The bread guy is the first guy there every day. He's there at five o'clock in the morning, if not earlier, and he makes sure that you never run out of bread. Your bread rack is neatly organized and clean. His labels are facing out. His price tags are where they can be seen, and he doesn't allow all of the garbage that people throw into the bread rack to stay in his section at all. So when the bread man used to come to me and say, Mr. Carruthers, can I please have an off-shelf display this weekend? I know it's not authorized by the company, but I'm in here every morning for you. I make sure your bread rack is full and clean so your customers can always have the most variety to pick from when they shop in your store. My answer was yes. And it wasn't because he came in one morning at five o'clock in the morning to make sure that I knew he was there. It was because he was there every single day and his stuff was always perfect. I think producers can learn a lot from the bread man. We think we're gonna walk in and close a piece of business just because we walked in the door when really what we need to do is remain relevant. If you have somebody that seems like they're interested, follow up with them two weeks later. Schedule more marketing drops around that location so that you can drop back by and take them something relevant based on your previous conversation. It might be a box of Girl Scout cookies. It could be their coffee order. It really doesn't matter. The only thing you want to do is stay in front of them because what will happen is them seeing you becomes a habit and then they want to buy. You're never going to be there to take the order if you're one and done. You're never going to get the order if you wait for your phone to ring or you wait for an email to come in. You have to go in there and you have to ask for the order. And you can only do that if you're physically present and relevant. If you can figure out how to stay relevant by following up with prospects the appropriate number of times, you're going to absolutely kill it in commercial insurance.